This is the Walt Disney Storyteller, and I'm going to tell you the story of Cinderella, which you can follow in your book. <laughs> that was Gus Gus. He's a fat little mouse, and every time he says, okay, in mouse language, like this, <laughs> that's the signal for you to turn the page. Ready? Listen. Once upon a time, there was a lovely young girl named Cinderella. She lived with her wicked stepmother. And her two selfish stepsisters, Anastasia and Drusella. Now, Cinderella was always gentle and kind. But her cruel stepmother made her work very hard and sleep in the attic. And she scolded Cinderella all the time. Cinderella! Good morning, stepmother. Hold your tongue. And the stepsisters were always ordering her around. Cinderella, take my dress. Here, mend the buttonhole. And press my skirt. Tell. Jealous, spiteful, they abused poor Cinderella just because she was so beautiful. And they were so very ugly. <laughs> that's right. That's Gus Gus signal to turn the page. <laughs> But Cinderella did have friends. The birds were her friends, and every morning... Hello, little birds. Did you come to wake me up? <laughs> Uh-oh. Come out of your holes in the wall, little mice. Good morning, Jacques. Good morning, Cinderella. <laughs> and how do you feel, Gus Gus? Gus Gus feels good. <laughs> Yes, Cinderella had her friends, and she also had her dreams. Wonderful dreams about fairy princes and castles. And someday, maybe they'll all come true, because after all, a dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep in dreams. You will lose your heartache Whatever you wish for You keep Have faith in your dreams And someday Your rainbow will come smiling through No matter how your heart is grieving if you keep on believing the dream that you wish will come true. <laughs> Each morning, Cinderella would feed the animals in the barnyard. Breakfast time! Everybody up! Food for you, Major the Horse. <coughs> and you, Bruno the Dog. <coughs> and all you chickens and ducks, too. <coughs> they were all Cinderella's friends. All except Lucifer the Cat. <coughs> Lucifer, you stop teasing Bruno. <coughs> <coughs> and stop frightening the mice. Poor little mice. Look how they hide. Look out! There's Lucifer! Now this particular morning, not far away, in the royal palace, His Majesty the King was talking to the Duke, and he was very angry. No buts about it. It's high time my son the prince married and settled down. Now I order you, my royal duke, to hold a royal ball. Yes, your majesty. Invite all the unmarried girls in the kingdom. Yes, your majesty. One of them should make the prince a good wife. Yes, your majesty. Tonight, understand? Yes, your majesty. <laughs> When the invitation to the ball arrived, the stepmother read it out loud. And by royal command, every eligible maiden is to attend. Why, that's us, Anastasia and me. Doesn't that mean that I can go too? You, ha, Trisella, imagine Cinderella dancing with a prince. <laughs> Please, stepmother, 
Can I go? Yes, Cinderella. You can go if... Uh, if you get all your work done. And if you can find something suitable to wear. Oh, I will. I promise. Cinderella rushed up to her room, opened an old trunk, and there was a dress she'd been saving. She showed it to the mice. It was my mother's. Isn't it pretty, Gus Gus? Look at Oh, it's pretty, pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> of course, it does need some fixing. I'd better start sewing right away. Cinderella? Cinderella! Oh, won't they ever leave me alone? Cinderella! All right, all right, I'm coming. Now, the mice were very wise. They knew what the stepmother was up to. For, as Jacques said... Always working. She'll never get her dress done that way. <laughs> Poor Cinderella. <laughs> and then Susie, one of the lady mice, had a wonderful idea. Hurry! We can fix Cinderella's dress! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Hurry, 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 gonna help our Cinderella. Got no time to silly dally. We got to get the door. Oh, I'll go to put this That night, as the cruel stepmother and her daughters were leaving for the royal ball, there was Cinderella. Wait, please, wait for me. Well, Cinderella, where did you get that beautiful gown? Trimmed with Drizella's old beads. But Drizella threw the beads away, and the mice found Is them. Is that so? Well, those are my beads, and I want them back, even if I did throw them away. And that's my old sash. I threw it out, too, but it wasn't for you. Give it back to me. Oh, no. Oh, stop, please. You ripped my beautiful dress to rags. <laughs> Come, Anastasia and Drizella. We must hurry off to the ball. <laughs> Poor Cinderella rushed out into the garden and sobbed and sobbed. Oh, no. <laughs> Suddenly, Cinderella heard a voice. Oh, come now. Dry those tears. <gasps> you shall go to the ball, I promise. Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother. Oh, I may be a funny little fat woman, but I have a magic wand and some magic words like these. Saragadoola, menchikaboola, bibbidi bobbidi boo. Put them together and what have you got? Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Now, saragadoola means menchikaboola roo. But the thing I'm above that does the job is bibbidi bobbidi boo. Salagadoola, menchikaboola, bibbidi bobbidi boo. It'll do magic, believe it or not. Bibbidi bobbidi, bibbidi bobbidi, a bibbidi bobbidi boo. Oh. Look what's happening. A wave of the magic wand. And the pumpkin has become a beautiful coat. Major's turned into a coachman. Bruno a footman. And the mice are now sleek, fat horses. I'll wave the magic wand once more and... My rags. They've turned into a lovely gown. <laughs> and on my feet, two glass slippers. Yes. Oh, they're beautiful. But remember, Cinderella, you must be home by midnight, for then the magic spell will be broken, and everything will return to the way it was. Oh, I'll remember. Now jump into your coach, and away like the wind. At the royal palace, the prince saw at once that Cinderella was the one girl he'd been waiting for. And as the music began, he took her in his arms and they danced together all evening long. And Cinderella's heart was full of happiness. So this is love. Mm -hmm. So this is love. So this what makes life divine? Suddenly, 
Cinderella heard the clock striking 12. Oh, I must go. Before the prince could stop her, she ran out of the ballroom and never noticed when she lost one of her glass slippers. Then into her carriage she flew and away. The clock struck once more. Midnight. And just as my fairy godmother said it would, everything's changed back to the way it was. <laughs> Everything except Cinderella's other glass slipper. This, the godmother let her keep so she would always remember this wonderful night. At the royal palace, the prince found the slipper Cinderella had dropped, and his father, the king, said to the duke, Try this slipper on every girl in the kingdom, and when you find the girl, it bids bring her in. Next morning, the Duke's search brought him to Cinderella's house. Grisella, let me try the slipper on you first. Uh, uh. Mm, your foot's much too big. Now you, Anastasia. I'll just make it fit. Uh, uh. Nope, your foot's too big too. And now the Duke was preparing to go. But where was Cinderella? Locked in her room by her stepmother. Please let me out. How can you be so cruel, stepmother? You're afraid the slipper might fit my foot. Oh, please let me out. But then suddenly, Jacques and Gus Gus came up the stairs. We have the key, Cinderella. The key, the key, the key. Cinderella looked through the keyhole. Jacques, Gus Gus, you're bringing it to me. But... Oh. Yes, yes. Lucifer, where did you come from? Go away. Let the mice bring me the key. Yes, yes. <laughs> But Lucifer stood in the way of the mice. Suddenly, Cinderella had an idea. She ran to the window and called, Bruno! Here, Bruno! And Bruno came dashing to the rescue and chased <laughs> Lucifer away. <laughs> now, Jacques and Gus Gus, push the key under the door. Oh, thank you. Now I must hurry before the Duke leaves. Your Grace, please... May I try it on? Stop. I won't permit it. I'll smash that glass slipper first. Oh, no, no. What have you done? Never mind, Your Grace. I have the other slipper. Here, slip it on my foot. Good, good. It fits perfectly. And that means, Cinderella, you soon will be a princess. The next day, Cinderella and the prince were married. Cinderella was very beautiful and the prince very handsome, and everyone could see they would live happily ever after. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing the dream that you were.